for a minute, so I can play now. Old song. I was invited to the Mishka Zohar running for president's wedding. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Did he ask you to be a flower child or a flower girl? <laughs> I was the most beautiful flower Officiating. He wanted me associate. I was ready to go. He said I was a rabbi. <laughs> okay, muting everybody. <laughs> okay, so to Chazim from yesterday, Um. The first thing we discuss is when the Zionist turns into Hamaisi, meaning, which is otherwise known as Pasav of the Kisnin, right? So if you become a Suda on, on a lot of Zionists, so then you have to. So, of course, today in Shayoshu, um, they served, I don't know what, pizza with something else, and I was getting hacked. Do they have to wash it or not have to wash? Sounds like they did have to wash. It was lunch, right? So, yeah, because you, when you convey a Suda, then you have to wash, even if it's theoretically Zionist. Is she, is she the what? Is she, is she no, 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 I'm just saying that juice from fruits loses its status of a fruit and the bracha is shahakal. That's going to come up today. Again, we said yesterday that juice from fruits is shahakal, right? Because that's not, the fruits are grown to be eaten, not, not for their drinks. Then we said the status of crushed fruits, then bracha on medicines that satisfy, you do have to make a bracha. And then is the word maitzi or ha maitzi? which we said really everybody agrees that the word Maitzi would be correct, but we learned the, we do the Lashon of Ham Maitzi, and Taisa says because we don't want to make a run on word, and then Amit base is basically all about the bracha on cooked vegetables. Right? So that leaves us on the bottom of Lamed Ches Amit Even if somebody doesn't do Daf Yaimi, today is, it's Kedai to uh, and, and it's Kedai to learn today's Daf strictly because there's, there's a lot of Halacha Lamaisa in it. Yeah? How do we look at uh, grapes differently. Meaning, grapes, when you crush it out, you take out the juice. So right. we, we don't say it's based, we, we still look at it as if it came from the. No, but we, but we upgrade the bracha. Right. We do upgrade the bracha. We don't downgrade yeah. it. So it's the opposite. I'm saying it's. it's yeah, because it's, it's better. It's better, it's better right? right? That was the sugi a couple of days ago. Yeah, okay. So, Omar. No, no, it was, no, it was, a few, it was the first blood in, in, in Kedzim Mavar. Okay. okay. Omar Lerav Yemir Lerav Zeru. Yeah, bottom line. Okay. So Rabbi Yemiya told Rabbi Zeira, Rabbi Yochanan, hey, again, well, we just got finished saying that Rabbi Yochanan used to soak olives in salt, and which we said soaking is like cooking, and he made a bracha, right? So we said it has, must be that he made a bracha of, of Hadama, right? Is that what we said? Um, because, because he, made a, because he yeah. made a bar in the end. In the end of his bracha must be al Michya. So he said he made a bracha before and after. So yeah. since he said he made after, correct. It made a cast al mikha, not for a frustrate, so it has to be uh uh It stays in its regular status. Well it wasn't yeah. Yeah. Um it gets its regular status. No, so he must have no we wanna say it wasn't made. I'm right, sorry, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no it'll be high eight. Yeah, it means it doesn't lose its status. Cooking veg point is that we would bring the raya from Rabbi Yochanan that um, cooking vegetables does not make it lose its status, right? So like what it says, Rabbi Yochanan, Heichim Bevaruch Hazayas Maliyah, how did he make a bracha on a salted olive? Kim and the Shkila the Garina, since he took out the pit, Batsi Lashir, it doesn't have a shear. Meaning, in order to make a bracha achreina, you need to have a certain amount. To make a bracha rishana, like we discussed, even if you just have a tiny, tiny drop, you have to make a bracha before. Mm -hmm. But to make a bracha after, you need to have a certain amount. And if you take out the seed, from the and you're not eating the seed, so one olive is not enough to make a bracha chrono. Amrle said, "Amrle says, Amrle, me sovers kizai is gadol beinon kizai is beinon even you. Who says you need a large olive? You need a middle size olive. But who the eyes look at me? And that olive that Rabbi Yechonah was eating, zai is gadol who was a large one. The avagav the sheklu lagarino say even though you took away its pit, pashle shiurit, it still leaves you over with a with a shear enough to make a bracha chrono. The tanan zai shamru." That we have a Mishnah that says the Zayas that we say whenever we say you have to eat a Kezayas, Kezayas, um, the, the Kezayas that we said, like cotton or like Godel, it's not small and it's not, it's not small, it's not large. Ella um, uh, it's only a Benini, right? Um, yeah, so that's, uh, let's stop right there. Yeah, now, so basically, um, you have to have a certain amount for Brachachronis. So the Toys is very important, Toys. Yeah. Um, 
the top Tosis says, that's only, we're talking about the bracha afterwards, the inon shir, that's what you need a measurement to make a bracha ren. If it's the bracha before, then even if it's less than the shir, you're not allowed to benefit from this world without a bracha, whether it's eating or drinking, so therefore bracha rishonah never requires a shir. Our bracha shalachra, the inon shir, the lugma. Bracha Chrona needs a cheekful. Al King Eshazar, Lishtais mi Kaisal Bracha, Maloid Lugmov. Whenever you make a bracha on a Kaisal Bracha like Havdala, let's say, then you should drink a full cheek, Kadesh Yavarach Lacher, or Mayen Gilam Bracha, so you could say a Bracha Chrona on it. Okay? So that's, uh, um, that's, that's basically what uh, the uh, Tais is saying, though. Well, you want to you make a Bracha Chrona on Havdala. Then you should make sure to at least have Malay Lugma. Meaning, normally for to be Yaitza Abdullah, you don't have to have. You don't have to have Malay Lugma. You have to have less than Malay Lugma. Right? But to make the Bracha Chrona of Abdullah, so make sure you do that. And any other time, you have to make sure you have a Shia. Okay. Bezeo um, Agure. Um, back in the Gemara. That is Agure. Right? Um, yeah, how do they touch that? Bezeo Agure? Article? One second. Sorry. No, Alabani Bezeo Aguri. That is the. Alabani is the Aguri. Right. Alabani Bezeo Aguri and that, but they don't touch it? Um, Aguri Al. It's an Aguri Al. They okay. don't really say what an Aguri Al is. Fine. Vamar Rabbi Okay, so Zeo Aguri, Vamar Rabbi Bo, Lai Aguri Shmai, El Abrute Shmai, Vami Lo Samrute Shmai. Right? The Lama Nikra Shmai Aguri, Shashmenu Agur Besoicha. That the fat is, is Agur, is wrapped in there. Okay? Fine. Name of Now we have a different, now we have a, a total different subject. Name of Katanoi. Tahanu Trey Tomide. There was two Tomide. Now Yasu committed the Barkafa. They were sitting in front of Barkafa. He viewed the front of Krug with Dermaski Upargiot. You know what I Yeah. They brought in front of him. Krug is uh, some sort of lettuce type thing. With is is some sort of cooked vegetable. And then pargiot is small pieces of pargiot is small pieces of chicken or meat. That's what, right. I think we use that. They use that term now. Right. 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 Again, he had vegetables Kru, Kru, and cabbage, pargiot. Damascus and partridge meat and partridge meat. Damascus is eight. Is a herb called orcha or mountain spinach or ash. Okay, whatever it is. Okay. Right, it's basically vegetables and pargiot is meat or chicken. Nasan bakafur shus leechemayin levarich. So Barakarva gave Rishus to one of them to make a bracha. Kapa to Baruch ala Pargiot. He made a bracha on the chicken. Liglegalav Chaveroi. And his friend laughed at him that he did the wrong thing. So Kaas Barakarva and Barakarva got upset. Amr aloi ala mevarach anikais. And I'm not getting upset at the person who made the bracha. Ela ala melagleg anikais. I'm getting upset at the person who laughed at him. Because im chavercha daima kemisha loi tam tam basam ayolam. Right? If it would be that your friend didn't ever taste the buster in his life, so then really he likes the meat more than the vegetables. Meaning the normal halacha is that you make hadama before shahako. Right? Meaning the basic rule is when you have a bunch of things to make a bracha on, so the brachas that are more specific to the foods go first. That's why you have, um, well, mazainus goes first, and then you have. Hadama, Ha'eit, Hadama, right? They're more specific, right? Shahakal's last because it's not specific. It's just Shahakal Niva. Hashem created everything, right? That's why Shahakal works for every bracha. I'd be the evidence if you made a bracha Shahakal that works. So it's the least specific. So that's why you, you put that one last. So L'chayra here, the vegetable should have gone first. So that's why he was left at. So what our copper was telling the person that laughed at the other fellow they saying, who says maybe this guy, because there are those that say, there are opinions that say that something that you want goes first, even if it's, even if it's not in the proper order. So that's what he told him. So, what are you, what are you laughing at? And then he said, I'm not, I'm not upset at the person who laughed, I'm upset at the person who made the bracha. But Omar, right? If there's no Chachma here, there's no elder here either. Meaning, just if you're not sure what to do, you have somebody here, elder, ask him what to do. 
Tanur Shneim Lo Yitziu Shnasan, and both of these Talmidim didn't live out the year. No boy, right? Because they didn't, they were Myra Halacha Bifnei Rabbi. They they set up Sak Halacha in front of their Rebbe. So, so they were all la- at lunch asking about pizza brachas. What? They were all at lunch asking about pizza brachas. Yeah, there you go. But at least they asked, right? <laughs> Maybe they learned right. this stuff already, right? Yeah. So my love, so what was the machloikas between the two Talmidim? The Mavaris of our Shlokas of Pagliyas, Shakol Niyabadvari. He must have held that Shlokas and Pagliyas is Shakol Niyabadvari, meaning cooked vegetables and the meat, both are Shakol, Hilka Chaviv Adif. So therefore, what he likes came first, and therefore he made the brocha on the meat, because of course he likes the meat more than he likes the vegetables. But Malag looked sovereign, and the one that laughed at him thought Shlokas by Priyadama, like he got finished saying for the whole number before. Right? And Pargi is Shahakal Niyavadvari, Hilkach Pera Adif, right? Fruit comes first because it's more specific Racha. Right? So that's what we're thinking. Maybe that was the Machlaikis between the Tamidim. Basically, the Machlaikis being whether cooked vegetables gets a Shahakal or a Dhamma. Saying so says, like the Kuli Amish Lakus of Pargi is Shahakal Niyavadvari. Everybody holds that cooked vegetables and Pargi is gets Shahakal. This is what they're arguing about. Marsav or Chaviv Adif, one held. That what you liked is better, so that's why he made the he made the bracha on the meat or the chicken. Mars of a kruv adif design. The kruv is is better because it it fills you up. I'm not exactly sure why it fills you up, right? But um, that's what the Gemara says later on. That's what Rashi says that kruv is very filling. Okay, fine. Okay, so Amar of Zayir Ki Avina Be Rav Huna Amar Lan Hani Garbliti Lifta Parminu Frima. Rabba. But the, but, if it's the same bracha, why would one come first? The other, what would yeah. do it? What you like better comes first. If but if it's the same bracha, you, what difference does it make? No, you make the bracha. You take, you make the bracha on the food that you like. Better. Even if it's the same bracha. Yes. Why? What because that's you're supposed to go chashivas. Since you like this better, and you're, and you're playing, it's not, it's you're not changing the bracha. Yes, saying, no, but you're showing Hashem that you're making the bracha on His food that you like the most. So it gives it more chashivas. Yeah. 100%. We're going to see that on the base. You do. You make, even if it's the same bracha, you take okay. the food that, that you that has more chashivas. Is that, that true no matter what level of bracha we're talking? What do you mean? Meaning, if, uh, uh, Mizainis, would, that, would you say that still is true even if you're Kadeh Sud on something? If you have what, two different types of Mizainis? Well, yeah. Or, or, or a Mizainis and wait, that you're being Kadeh Sud on and not say Adam. Or a. Uh, well, Mazanis always comes first. Right, so I'm asking, let's say you, even though you're being conveyed to the Mazanis, you have something that is more Chavit to you that's not Mazanis, would you still say the idea that Chavit comes first? Yeah, well, we're going to see on Amit Beis whether the Machlaik is whether Chavit comes first or not. We'll see it. Let's wait. Does it depend on Yeah, it's going to What do you say? Yeah, is this, uh, does this have to do on the person or if, if it's widely held like a, like a nice wine? You drink the nice wine over, what's considered a nice wine over. Oh, very good. Thank you. you reminded me. How about this? You reminded me. I forgot to say this. Well, isn't that a toiba mitiv? What? Let's say, let's say you're just drinking wine. Stam is like drinking wine. Like you pick up a nice wine. Yes, you should pick up, you should make the brach on the nicer wine first, 100%. When do you make that type of meter, Tsiakov? The type of meter, we're going to get to that whole. Hatava. When someone else brings you out. How about the is when you had one wine already and then you find a nicer one. You get a nicer wine that you didn't know was coming. That's the you basic. You didn't know it was coming? You didn't know it was coming. Is it okay to make Kiddush yes, on a lesser wine good. that's easier to. I'm sorry. What are you saying? Is it, is it okay to make, a, uh, make Kiddush on a lesser wine because you enjoy it more when you drink it? In, the, in a in a kiddish type of way, yes. Meaning this, this yeah. Mascara yeah. Yeah. is easy to make kiddish on. You make, but a, a right. like a cabernet is harder to. So because you could drink it quicker, is that right. okay? Even though you're using less hush of wine to make kiddish. Yeah. So so that's exactly what there's a machlokes. I forgot who holds what, but it's the Taz and somebody else that when something is chaviv, does that go what you think right now is chaviv? Or what you normally think is chavir, what you like normally, or what you want right now. Meaning, if you have a, a soda in front of you and a coffee, so most of the time you think coffee is more chavir than soda. But you come in and you're really thirsty, so right now you really want that soda before you have your coffee. So do we say chavir goes with what you normally feel, or or like Simon was saying, the whole world thinks, or does it go what you want right at that point? 
I think the Taz is the one that says that it goes with what you feel right at that particular time, not not uh, not um, it's not a rule, not a set rule. But we'll get more to that on the base. Amar, so yeah, Amar of Zayra, Kiavina be Rav Huna, Amar Lon, Hani Gar Glidi, the Lifta, Parminhu Prima Raba, Bara Priya Dama, Prima Zuta Shakal Shakal Niyamivara. So these um, radishes, I think that's what they are. Right, radishes that were very that are so if they were cut up into large pieces, it's by pri adam. If you cut them up into small pieces, and shakal niyam why? Turnips, turnips. Turnips, okay, right. turnips. Yeah, I don't know the difference between a radish and a turnip. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay, whatever it is. So one of those types of foods. So again, if you cut it up into big pieces, it's going to be by pri adam because that would be the more natural way to eat it. And when you cut it up into small pieces. So then that's going to make it, uh, um, it's less of a, it's, it's let, it's not as good. Right. Um, and therefore, meaning you're, you're artificially making it taste good because you're cutting up into small pieces for whatever reason, cutting up the small pieces makes it taste different, but it's since that's not the natural way to eat it. So like we learned yesterday and the bracha would change to shakon yibadwari. Right. So that's what they did by Rav Huna. He told us that they're both by Rafi Adam. He said, This that you're making it smaller is just to make it taste a little better. But really, that's the natural way to eat it, is both ways, and therefore it's by Rafi It's not that it changes the flavor, it makes it easier to cook. What? You know, root vegetables, if you cut them smaller, they cook more evenly. So if you're, if you're, if you keep them like large chunks, they're gonna. It's gonna be woodier. It's gonna be like harder to eat and digest uh, yeah, in the process. Uh, yeah. it's not that it, it makes not that it makes it better. It just makes it easier to cook. Uh -huh, okay, but may okay, but right, but okay, but you're eating them right. You're right. You're right. I keep pointing out that Rashi is saying that it's both eaten raw, but it does change the taste a little bit. Either way, the machlokes is is whether cutting it up into small pieces changes it from its natural state or not. Fine. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a bit of Ghana. A, a cooked food of silka is also so that's some type of um, silka is uh, cooked beet dish. beets, or yeah, beets, beets yeah. or radish, whatever. They, there's again the same type of food. So it cooked basically it sounds like a soup, right? A cooked beet dish to which they did not add. They flour. didn't add flour, flour right? Our tafshila de silka de lay mashuba kimcha that they didn't add flour is bayer priyadama. The lifter, the mafshiba kimcha, tvei barimei vazaris. But it's, if it's made out of lifter, right? Lifter is, how do you touch lifter? Lifter is, is, is a also the, turnip, the turnips that we had before. Right, add a lot of right? So there you do add, add flour, then it's going to be barimei vazaris. Right now, automatically, yes, they're going to change their mind. It is vador omar, idi vidi barimei adama. Right? They're both barimei adama. Vahay de shadi ba kimcha, tvei litvuke ba alma avdulei. The only reason why they added more flour is to act as a binder, which we said, mm -hmm. when you add flour just to make it thicker, like licorice, then it's not, you know, there's no bracha on it. Like, like, a, like the meatball and hamburger scenario. Correct, there you go, exactly, with the meat, exactly with the meatballs, yeah. Very good. Some of the tafsha shal trudin, yafel alei v'tayv A cooked food made out of trudin is, uh, I don't know, how do you touch trudin? Leeks, maybe? Uh, like this... Beets is healthy for the heart. Trodden the Tai Ching is beets? Okay. Cooked beets. Tafsha shall trodden, also again a root vegetable. Yafa the lay, but It's good to the heart and it's good for the eyes. The kosher and the kosher and it's good for the stomach. It's good for the stomach. And he shouldn't taste anything. Amar Rabbi Ruda Yosef Abbe Tfei Va'abe Tuch Tuch. But that's only when it's boiling and it makes a sound Tuch Tuch. That's a, <laughs> it's an interesting Gemara. Like it has to be bubbling. Tuk tuk, that, that's the way it sounds like when that's what Rashi says. It's right. bubbling. Um, so then that's when it's gonna be good for you. But if it's not, it doesn't get to that point that it doesn't bubble, then it's not gonna be. Yeah. So I'm gonna pop shitali. Maya the silka kasilka, umaya the lifta kalifta. Now this is a very important uh, gemara here. The water of beets, meaning a beet soup, has a din of silka, umaya the lifta kalifta. And any water that's cooked with cooked vegetables has is like the cooked vegetable, and therefore what? 
Is that because the flavor goes into the water? What? Is that because the flavor of the vegetable goes into the water? Yes. Yes. So therefore, the brach is by the priyad. Wait, 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 wait. If you cook vegetables that you eat raw, it's shahaka. Well, of course, if you can eat it, yeah. So, well, if, if you cook if you cook a beet in soup, it also gets a shahaka, no? No. So that's what it's saying here. What beet you, you don't eat raw? You do. When you're when you're cooking soup vegetables and you and you want it as a soup. So therefore, the Gemara is saying now that it would retain whatever bracha you'd make on the vegetable at that particular time, then that's what the bracha you would make but on the soup also. That's only vegetables that you want cooked. But we put in celery, which is raw, carrots, which is raw, right? potatoes. But the cook. question is how it normally gets eaten. You don't need the big kasha on this is why is this different than fruit? We said yesterday that the juice that comes out of the fruit it's and it's going to be shahakal. And here we're saying that it's, see, it could be shahakal too, depending on what type of vegetable it is. But it's going to be hadamba. This is a very major, major issue in the Rishonim of how how to deal with this this stira here. The vegetable soup is right? the vegetable is different than fruit. The, the yes, soup is so, the liquid, or not the vegetable. Aren't there a lot of people who don't what? eat fruit? Aren't there a lot of people who don't eat fruit soup because of this problem? A lot of people that don't eat do fruit what? soups. These fruit soups that they serve at uh, weddings or whatever. No, so fruit soups is also an issue. Okay, so basically, there's different. There's a bunch of different shatim in the rishonim, and it can make all the difference in the world what type of soup it is. It's very complicated of what bracha to make on these soups, right? Um, here, I wrote it down, and I have it. Um, so one of the one of the is that it depends on whether you normally eat the vegetables after you cook them, like lamashal, tomato soup, right? Tomato soup, nobody's eating the tomatoes in the soup for the most part, as far as I know, right? You're crushing the tomatoes and you're having, you're just having the soup part of it, right? Mm -hmm. So then that would be, that would be a shahako. Why did I say right? tomato? Or split pea, like, you know? Juice. It's not dumb. Huh? Why it's no, but it, it really is. depends. It I mean, it's basically what it's going to depend on is you, do you normally make veg the fruit soup? I'm sorry, vegetable soups out of these vegetables. If you do, then it could very well be that the soup is going to be hadama. If fruit, fruit on the other hand, most fruits are meant to eat, not to be, not to, for drinks. So therefore, it it changes. It doesn't get the hadama. So that's the basic. That's one of the basic rules. But we got to get going. Here. It's a big issue. What if you judge the vegetables? Depends what type of vegetable. Yeah, yeah. it really depends. If it's raw vegetables that you normally make a dumb on, then you would better yeah. make a dumb on. Yeah. But when you make a soup out of it, it's the opposite, no? Correct. So then it would be a shahab. Back to the shahab. Yeah, so now the thing is, if you see the full vegetables in there, then you would make a dumb on them and then you'd be okay. Yeah, why, why, there, why is it different than like a salad where you have a carrot? It depends what type of vegetables they are. Carrots, if you raw, huh? cook it, what do you, you make? You make a shahab. What? You know, because you make when you cook something and celery. Depends. A carrot, carrot and, and celery. celery. You eat it raw. You cook it when you make. Does it, it matter how many vegetables would be the shock? If there's no carrots or celery in there, it is carrots and celery. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Uh, what you did you cook? Why? Because, because you're eating the carrots and the celery. Cook. So what? You right. said you've been cooking. Cook, no, cook only drops it down if it's a downgrade. It's oh, a downgrade, yes. Not downgrade, no. If it's a downgrade and having it. So cook, carry it down a downgrade? I don't know. I don't know enough about the food. You have to ask the food experts what's considered a downgrade, an upgrade, what's the norm, what's not the norm, the face. I don't know. I just eat. You know what I mean? I eat. Yeah. What if you... 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 Yeah. Okay. What if you... Immersion blender to the vegetables? What? What if you cooked the vegetables as a soup and then you took an immersion blender and blended it down into like a thick... That's but what Bobby that's just a, said. Yeah, it's a very common. That's a very common thing people do. Yeah, so then you would have an issue. Then it would depend what type of vegetable it is, and then yeah, then then it would probably change it. That's that's when you can have the issue. If you have the full vegetables in the soup. It's usually not an issue. That's a dumb one. Yeah. Okay. Whatever it is, the point what is, is the first. What? what if you prefer? What if you prefer them cooked? It's not like a potato. A potato you have to cook because that's the way you eat it. But you right. eat a carrot, but you prefer a carrot cooked over, over raw. Right, so that would depend on what is most of the world. How does most of the world eat carrots? Raw? Or, or, or by, by, oh. that, that's completely, that's completely, that, that's not like a standard thing. It's like, 
you, well, you ask someone from Zimbabwe if they like carrots raw versus cooked. We don't have to go to Zimbabwe. We can ask South Bank. You can ask anyone in 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 uh, Farakwe. No one no one knows the difference at this point. What's it, what I'm asking? Like, how do you how do you gauge what is? I don't know. That's, this is why. Yeah, you're right. This is why Hilchus Brachus is so complicated, and it all it's all hinges on different ways of answering up this kasha of why fruits and vegetables are different. There's really no clear clear answer to it. This is why we have videos. It gives a very enlightening thing. Yes, one. question. And he says, I, what about parents? He says, Yesh He gives right. us real life. Right, so that, right. Real, so that's just uh, says Yesh Correct. Correct. Right. Correct. right. Um, what if vegetables grosses you out in general? So we're going to get to that. That's, <laughs> in couple, that's in another couple of blocks. We're going to get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah. Um, so basically you do what you want then. Uh, yeah, not, exactly, not exactly. Not exactly. I mean, you just wa water. just wash before you have the, have the vegetables. Uh, if if that only works if the vegetables normally get eaten with bread, but yeah, it would work. It would work. To wash on bread would help. Yes, that's what Tyson said already twice. Huh? But only if it's part of your meal. Otherwise, you'd have to make a bracha during the meal. We'll correct. correct. Um, now look at the Tyson's chaviv adif. I forgot to do that Tyson's. Right, chaviv is better. You listening, Naftali? Okay, yeah. I got, we got a bunch of naftalis. I'm saying naftali line. You listen. Okay. If you have in front of you two types of pairs, chaviv adif ubayr pi adama adifa me shahakol. I mean chaviv adif. Period. Chaviv is better. Whatever you have two types of fruits, the one you like more goes first. Ubayr pi adama adifa me shahakol near bedvaroi. Right, and ubayr pi adama comes before shahakol. Is that the top of chaviv? Or... No, chaviv is first. At least according to the Tosfos, it's a machloek is in Shulchan Aruch how we pass. The ubayr is tfei, right, because Parapiyadam is a more is a more specific bracha. Okay, fine. That's but that's the point of the Tyson. Yeah, it's getting later already, even for a short daf. Yeah. Um yeah, I forgot where we up to. Yeah, Bayra yeah. Papa. Yeah. About seven, eight lines up. Bayra Papa. Maya the Shivsa. Right? Uh no, Umra Papa. We just finished Taif Taif, I think. No, we went further than that. You did? Yeah, we said. Yeah, we the said. Ma'at the silk. We did that. Okay, yeah. What? Okay. Sorry. Good. Boy, Rapapa. Maya the shivsa. Right. How did they touch that? Maya the shivsa. Is uh. It's on it. Who? Rashi says on it. What is the Rashi of dill? Cooked dill. All right, dill. Right. That's what it is. Right. That's what they touch it. Maya the shivsa. My. Now, what is the story with? Dill that you put into the soup. I personally hate when they put dill into the soup. I don't even understand why it exists. My the shivs of my lemtuke time, right? My lemtuke time of the. Why do you put dill in? This is a good question here for those that hate. No dill. If you ever look in your soup and there's grass blowing or floating around in it, that's dill. Yes, that's what's going on. Okay. So now we have a fight here. What what dill is? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should go with the cooking answer here. No, I'm just yeah, Naftali is sticking his eye. He thinks he knows what dill is. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put in whatever you yeah. want into your chicken soup. Put schnapps in there. Okay, anyways. Maya the shivs of my. Right? What is the, why are you putting dill into the water? The matuke time of the, is it there to sweeten it? Or are you putting it in there to take out the strength of of it, right? Toshima, Shavas Mishan, Nitna Tambe Kadero, Ainba Mashum Truma, Vaina Matama Tumas Eichlam. Right? When you put Shavas, once you put it into the pot, now you take it out, then it no longer has a din of Truma, and it can't become Tumas Tumas Eichlam, Shmamino, and Tuke time of the So it's there to sweeten Shmamino. Meaning what the Gemara is saying is since you see that once you put the, the uh, what do we call it again? Dill mm -hmm. into the soup, and it's done. Once it gives off its tam, so then it's done. It doesn't even have the status of food anymore. So clearly, it's there to get the taste out of the dill. Okay. I'm going to appear about Ashi past tsnuma, the kaira, right? So past tsnuma, um, dried bread. And and it's little in, in little pieces. What is that? Like sourdough? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's sourdough. I, I don't know exactly what. Small little pieces of fruit uh, Croutons. Yeah, maybe, it's, maybe 
Maybe it's croutons. So he the brach on it as a mighty. He's disagreeing with Rabchia, and now we go in a total different direction with this, right? He disagrees with Rabchia because Rabchia says that your bracha needs to be finished, right? When you're when you're when you're cutting up the the bread, right? Yeah, meaning the bread tznuma, small pieces of bread. Right? So he's saying you make the bracha on that hamaitzi, which means that you cut it up first, and now you make hamaitzi. Rav Chia is saying, no, don't cut it up until you finish the bracha. Okay? Don't cut it up into little pieces of bread until you finish the bracha. Yeah, we'll get a little clearer as we go by. Right? Why not tznuma? Right? So because when you're going to, if you're going to make it into tznuma, meaning into little pieces, so now when you make the bracha, it's going to be going on little pieces. Alapas nami, kika gamra, prusa gamra. On bread also, regular bread, when you make a bracha, it's also going to be going on a, on a broken piece. Ella, ella marava, mevarech, ba'achikach, etzeya. What you have to do is make the bracha and then you cut it up. Right? Meaning, when you finish the bracha, then you, then you cut your bread. Nardoi avdi kerabchia, so that nardoi they did it like kerabchia. Rabbana and Avdi Karava and the Rabbana did like Rabbana, meaning they did like Rabbana and they, they cut it up first, and the Rabbana did it like Rabbana. I'm a Ravina, I'm really aim. My mother told me, Avuch, your father, Avid Karabchia, did like Rabbana, I'm a Rabbana, it's our shakit, the bracha, in my pass. You need to finish your bracha with the pass. I just said it wrong before. You don't break it up, you just break it at the end of the bracha, right? And Rabbana and Avdi Karava and Rabbana do um, like. Rava, the hilfus of Karav and Lagas like Rava, Dhamma Mavara, Fahakak would say, what you do is you make a bracha and then you break the bread. This is a very important Allah that people are not aware of. When you um when you make Hamaitzi, don't cut up the bread before you make the Hamaitzi. We pass him. You gotta make the Hamaitzi on the full piece. And then well, I don't know how it works with a piece of rye bread, but let's say on a roll or a bagel, and anything like that. Is you don't cut it up. What no, it this is anything. No, you Why? You're supposed to make a bracha on something complete. But even if you have a small piece, you have to make a mic. Correct. No, but when you have something whole, don't break it up until you... Yeah. It's chashivus? It's chashivus because it's whole. What? It's chashivus because it's whole? You want to... It has a chashivus because it's whole. So is it, so is it better not to wash on those little pieces of bread by the sink at restaurants? Uh, that's a good question. But there, maybe you don't have the whole piece in front of you. It's good not to because you're supposed to sit down and make hamotzi, not stand. So that's a. I, I never really got that the whole doing the thing, but but we'll get we'll get to that later on also. But and the cut the cutting is not a hefsek at all, right? Oh, very good, Tyson. You got to look at this very important Tyson here. I know we keep saying important Tyson. This is important Tyson. The hilchos of Kerava, the mavar of Achav would say a pirush. Don't not separate the piece that you're going to eat from the bread until until after the bracha. And there are those that have a meaning not to make the bracha before they cut the piece at all. And so that it should be full. That's not the proper thing to do. Because then that's too much time between the bracha and the achila. Now, one second, let's stop right there. So what we've been saying is that you're supposed to make a bracha on the complete, on, right? You want to make it whole, right? But Tysus just said, don't make it on the bracha when it's whole because by the time you cut the piece off, it's a hefsik, right? So what Tysus is saying to do is you cut the piece, let's say you're eating a bagel. So you know you're going to take off a piece of the bagel. So what you do is you pull off the piece most of the way, but leave, leave it still connected Right? Then you make the hamaitzi, then you completely detach it, and then you eat it. You know what I'm saying? The reason is because you want to break it so that you don't have to spend a long time breaking it after the brachas. You want to break it before, but you want it to stay attached so that it's still a tavar shalom. Right? This is the way you do it during the week. But on Shabbos, you can technically give out the bread to everybody before. Oh, so look at Shabbos. The next line in Taisis. The, the proper thing to do is to be machmer and to make the bracha before you cut it. That you should not cut it with your hand before you, the bracha is over. Because then you're not going to have lechem mishnah. Right? So on Shabbos, you can't do this. So on Shabbos, you do have to keep it whole 
until after your bracha. Okay? Um, yeah, so basically there's a difference between the way you do Hamaytzi on Shabbos and the way you do Hamaytzi during the week. You, when the way you do Hamaytzi during the week is that you break most of it, and then, but you keep it still attached, and then you just take off, right after the rock, you take off that little piece, and you, you eat it. On Shabbos, you can't do that, so you have to cut it. And that's where the minute comes, you that you put a little bit of a, a space, or not a space, a marking into the, into the challah, so mm-hmm. that you know exactly where you're going to cut it. Okay. And are you? I, I heard that you're supposed to mark it, but you're supposed to actually mark it enough that it's a gazaya. So otherwise, you're not really marking an amount. Well, that you, that's a people. different thing. You're supposed to make right. sure you have. Yes, we're going to get to that also. How does the work? How does it work with, with the ones who wash before making kiddush? Mark it. If any, it, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, first piece. Yeah. But the, that piece that you're. One second. How does? There's no hef stick with this. There's no hef chadas issue with this either. No, because no, that's all part of considered all part of the meal. But we're going to get to that Gemara Vaita in the next parak. Yeah, we cut a little scratch. Yes, I mean well, we I don't, don't cut the scratch, but well, we don't eat that first piece. We don't eat the first piece. No, but that's I mean, where you I, cut I, it. That's where you're scratch. cutting it. Uh, uh, right, but they don't eat that first piece. Correct. Right? So why does it have to be a gazai that first piece? No, he means the, it means the other next way. Piece. The other yeah. way. Yeah. What you're going to be cutting up? Itmar. Yeah. If you look at the name of Sisan now we get into a Kadim and brachas okay. also. They brought in front of him. Season, small pieces of bread, Ushleiman, and whole pieces of bread. Exactly. Yeshua, that's what he asked him at the restaurant. You have, but there it's not in front of you in the restaurant. But here, let's say you have in front of you a whole roll and then a piece pieces of bread. You make a bracha on the on the small pieces and you pat the shleiman. Now this is talking about um the because Rashi says here the season are bigger pieces. And then, what do you mean? This is this is how you make for slice challah, no? What do you mean? Slice challah comes in a bag and you make a mice yeah, Correct. But here it's a little different because here the season, the pieces are larger than the roll. Right? If the pieces were smaller than the roll, we're gonna see that there's no question that you make the brocha on the whole thing. Here we're talking about where the season are bigger. What the Gemara is going to speak it up, right? Yeah, that's the way the Gemara does it. Again, itmar. Again, let's start again. Hivius lefnei season or shleim. Let's say they brought in front of you small pieces. Well, I keep. I said small pieces, not it's large pieces and sh- and a but and a shalim and a whole roll. Amar Avuna mevarach alab season and poytiras shleim. And you make a bracha on the pieces and not on the complete piece, right? The complete roll. Rabbi Yochanan amar shleima mitzvah and a mufar. To have to make a bracha on a Whole a full piece, not a full piece, a full roll is better. Our prusa shalchitin. Now, so now, what happens? You have the other way around. Wheat is not the other way around, but wheat is more chashuv than barley, right? So let's say you have a piece of wheat and a shalim and a complete roll made out of barley. So now, which one comes first, right? So again, Rabbi Yochanan Amar Shleima Mitzvah Min Amochur to make on a Shleima is, is the choicest. Have a Prusa Shalchitin Ushleima Shal Ushe Shleima Mitzayrim. But if you have a piece of of wheat and a full a full chal of barley, then Rabbi Yochanan Amar Shleima Prusa Shalchitin. Then the Chitin comes first. The Poiter Asa Shleima Shal Sayrim, and that will Poiter the Shleima Shal Sayrim. Okay, got that. So I'm Rav Yirmiya Bar Abba Ketanoi. This is like Machlokes Tanoi. Tarmin Batzel Katan Shalim Have a Loi Chazi Batzel Gadol. You give Truma, right? So you want to give something respectful to the Kayan. So it's better. We're saying you should give Truma of a, a full onion that's smaller than a half a piece of onion that's big, right? That's the first Tana. Meaning, but rather go bring to the Kayan's house a small full onion than a half of a large onion. Rabbi Yehuda, I'm like, like he, that's not true. Elachati but gadol. We'd rather you give a half an onion that's bigger than the small. My love, welcome if you Right? This is what they're disagreeing on. The Marsa or Chashuv Adif. One holds that the Chashuv one is better and small is more Chashuv, meaning complete is more Chashuv. Well, Marsa or Shalim, I'm sorry, the bigger one is more Chashuv because it's more onion. Well, Marsa or Shalim, the other one says, no, Shalim is better. Yeah, so where the, you're actually giving the onion over to the kayin, meaning the kayin is in front of you. So everybody agrees that the chashiv is better. Keep the when they're having a when there's no kayin. What's more chashiv? What do you mean the is the bigger piece. Right? Chashiv is the bigger piece. Right? 
Where the machlaikas is, let's say you don't have any kayin in front of you, right? So what do you have? You just want to take the onion and put it away till you find a kayin. So then, keep looking to lack a kayin where there's no kayin in front of you. The tanan, whenever there's a kayin in front of you, you have to give chuma from the nicest. And when it's not a, when the kayin's not in front of you, do it with the one that's going to last longer, which obviously a complete onion is going to last longer than an onion that's cut up, right? Yes, yeah, but review the disagrees and he says you only always give from the nicer. Fine. Somebody who has fear of God, right? Is Yitz of both. Umanu Marbre de Ravino, who was that? Marbre de Ravino, the Marbre de Ravino, Maniach Prusa Basai Hashlema, Ubeteo. What he did to get around this whole issue is he would take the piece, the broken piece, and put it inside. Well, I don't think he means inside, but under the big piece, and he would, by saying he would cut both of them at the same time, right? Tani Tana Kamedur Am Nachum Rayitzah Maniach Aprusa Besoich Hashleima Ubei Tzeim Avarich, right? That that's what you do. You put the small one within the big one, and then you make a bracha and you bench. Amar Le Mashimcha. They said to him, "What's your name?" Amar Le Shalom. He said uh, the word Shalom, Shalom, peace. Amar Le Shalom Ata Hoshlamim Meshinaschas Shasameach. Shalom, Shasham, Shasam to Shalom, Ben Atamidim. Your name is Shalom because you placed, you put peace in amongst the Talmidim because you came up with a uh, solution. Uh, that's a better word, a compromise. Thank you. You came up with a compromise where there's no issue, right? Again, because you have pieces and you have large. So therefore, you did both. Have you ever wondered why we do Hamoitzi on Pesach the way we do? This is the answer. Um, at least by the Savior. What you do is you pick up the broken piece of matzah together with the large piece of matzah, and then you make you break both of them together because we don't know which one you're supposed to do, right? My time lechem because it says you're supposed to have lechem oini, but you're also supposed to make a bracha on the full piece of matzah. So that's why, but a seder, you take, you make the hamaytzi, then you drop the bottom matzah, and then you make halachilas matzah that goes on the broken piece. And you're also, your bracha is going on one full piece, right? Hopefully, the will remember this by Pesach. Okay. Um, on Shabbos, you need to make a bracha on two loaves of bread. My two, whatever, two rolls. My time of lechem, Mishnah, if it says, two lechem. It's last week's parsha. He held two and he only, only cut one, which is what we do, right? You hold two in your hand, we make the bracha, and then you only cut one. Rab Zeira have a bata akula shirusa. Rab Zeira would cut the uh, a, a big enough piece that would last him the whole meal. Amale Ravino the Rashi, how come as chazik Rav said, does he look like a uh, a hungry man? Right? If you cut yourself one big piece of challah, it's gonna last you the whole meal. Amale kiman the challah, Amale kavod achi. Since I don't do this every day, but in the kavod, and today I am doing it. Loy mas chazik Rav said, I don't look like I'm a starving guy. Right? I look like I'm somebody who's showing respect and I'm going to eat a lot by this meal, which is showing respect um, to, to the meal. Yeah? Um, so when they came across, they made an Eruv, right? So you make an Eruv with bread. So when they had the Eruv with bread, so what they did is they made a Matzi Lechem and Aretz on the Eruv bread. Since there was one mitzvah done with it, meaning the Eruv, so we might as well do another mitzvah with it and use it for Shabbos. Okay, that's new. I can see the island is getting a little tired, so we'll stop over here. All right, a lot of Lacha Lamaisa here. Sorry for, uh, for going at so, such length, but it was a lot of stuff that was negay. Welcome to, uh, who's the kind from Phoenix, right? Just Einhorn? Yes, did he? Yeah. Anybody see him? Can you see him? No. I don't see him. Is he hiding with Nafeli? Yeah, yes. his name is yeah, we see him. I think he's on. Mark, are you on? <laughs> no, it's my father. What's Dad, your name? Dad, Dad they're looking for you. Hey, Einhorn, what's your name? Me? <coughs> well, it you're Einhorn, Shimon. right? It says yeah, Shimon. 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 Well, your name is Shimon? Yeah. Welcome aboard. There you go. All right, Lachaim, to many more dollars. Who's Mark? I'm 13. I go. think that's the that's the youngest we got in the group, no? Not the youngest acting. 
Well, that's oh, that, yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rashi said, "Yeah, Rashi sheet is even if even if it's smaller, which is which is big chiddush. It's not why he's saying it. Rashi says it's bigger. No, Rashi says it's bigger. 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 Like, it's two different things. Well, it's actually it's a taisis, 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 taisis,